welcome back so in this video as I told you before right in the previous video that we will work on the FCT click event that we will create a method so guys I want that I will first complete the UI design right in here for all the text form field then we will come back right to that FCT and work will start on it so we're gonna leave this empty for now first we will complete the UI design so let's go and do that for now on we just complete the job category as you guys can see right in here now the other one that we will create for the job title right down below in here so let's go and do that so right in here first we will have the text title for that job title okay so in here we will say text title there we go with the first one text title in here first we will set the label so it's going to be job title that's fine now put comma and then we're going to have the text form field okay that we just created as you guys know already i will take the value key controller enable etc we will remove that from now and we will add it one by one so that you guys just don't get confused in that in here put comma and take this down so the first one we will provide the property value key as you guys know it's job title so copy that from here and here past it but there will be no extra spacing okay that's fine now let's set the controller first we will go and create a controller for that job title so that we will use it right in here we didn't create it yet so let's go and do that for a time saving I will simply copy that okay and there we go in here I will simply pass it we will make a little edit right in here text editing controller but this time it will be for the job title and the text gonna be nothing so there will be no tax for the job title you will simply remove that from here so all good now we can simply go and use that right in the controller okay there we go in here comma now right after enable and I set this to true okay right after FCT gonna leave this empty there is no need of that max length we're gonna set it 200 like we said for the job category right in here so that's all I have already hot reload the app so there is no need of that I will simply just press the control S and you guys will notice the job title and the text form field also with the text title so let's go and press the control S there we go with the job title okay with the max length 100 as you guys can see right down in here on the right side so all good it's working totally fine and you can enter in here the job title for example anything whatever you want in here software engineer beginner anything like that so let me just enter something as you guys can see it's working fine take this down now let's move further now the next text form field that we will create it for the job description so what we will do we will simply for the time saving copy that all code from here to here okay copy it and down below in here paste it but this time we will change this to the job description okay and from here we will copy that in here past it 
as you know there will be no extra spacing adding the value key ok and the last thing that we will do simply just go and create the controller for the job description in here we will copy that copy it and in here past it it's going to be for the job description oh, fine now we can simply go and use that controller let's go down that in the controller for the job description in here past it and this is going to be true FCT will be like that there is no need of that and max length will be 100 now simply just press the control s and you guys will notice the output for the job description there we go with the job description with the max length 100 now in here you can enter anything whatever you want okay for the description for the job and one more thing guys let me tell you in here as I told you before I will explain this okay so in here the max line is 3 for now right in here in the job description because the value key it's equal to job description and that's why in here there is that third line 1 2 3 okay so if you guys want to change that want to increase it or decrease it just simply in here remove that so let's say I want in here 2 now press the control s and you guys will notice the change right in here in the job description text form field just press the control s there we go it's a little small now because it's a two line and if you guys want to increase it like just say uh, set it to four press the control s and there we go okay so there's the purpose that's why we set this right in here i will go with the three okay now let's go down so we are done all the way to the job description now we will create another text form field it will be simply for the job deadline dead so what we will do as you guys know already for a time saving copy that down in here past it but this time it is going to be job dead line date just copy that and in here past it short name okay deadline the value key will be just deadline now the last thing that we will do is simply go and create a controller for the deadline dead controller copy that from here okay and down in here past it is going to be for dead line dead now we can simply go and use that right in the controller of a deadline deadline in here past it and this will be empty we will leave this empty for now later on we will create a method and we will call upon that method right in here it will be simply for the pick dead dialog okay so for now there is no need of that we will work on that right in the future videos so as i tell you before first we will complete the ui design so that's all for the job deadline dead now simply just press the control s and you guys will notice the job deadline dead and their text form field just press the control s there we go with the job deadline dead the max length 100 text form field i think it's just right in here okay now this fine you can manually add the date from here or right in the future videos as i tell you before we will create a method by the name of pick dead dialog so simply the user whenever we click right in here it will simply get the user 
to the date dialog and the user will simply select the date from there so we will work on that right in the future videos so it's working totally fine for now okay this video ended right here and see you in the next one